What's up and welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. Ever since the Hellcat engine came out in 2015, it's become one of these legend engines, right up with, their, with the 2J, the RB, and the LS. So it's sad to see Dodge have their last call on the Hellcats and wrap it up for muscle cars. And also unveiling the Challenger 170. What a way to go out! <laughs> One of the most powerful mass production North American cars ever made with 1,025 horsepower, alongside 945 foot-pounds of torque, having a extremely impressive 1.66 second 0 to 60, making it the fastest production vehicle to 60 ever made, knocking out every single EV, and being the world's first production car to run in the 8s, running a 8.91 quarter mile at 151 miles per hour. So impressive. What makes this really impressive is it's rear-wheel drive, it's not a particularly light car, and it's gas-powered. The benefit towards EVs is it's just instant power. It doesn't have to wait on anything, it doesn't have to like gas get to the engine, it doesn't need to build boost. It's just instantly there. So that makes we have all-wheel drive and sticky tires, makes the EVs do outrageous zero to 60s and quarter mile times. So the fact this is rear-wheel drive, gas-powered, and still, again, barely heavy, that number is so impressive. But going back to the origins of the Hellcat, what makes this engine awesome is it wasn't just the sports car engine that, like it was when it came out back in 2015. When it came out in 2015, it was used in the Dodge Charger and the Dodge Challenger, and that remained the same until we got to 2018, where Jeep used the Hellcat engine in the Jeep Trackhawk making one of the fastest and the most powerful production SUV ever made. Since then, Dodge has used the Hellcat engine in both the Durango and the Ram, which is so cool. Along with that, there's been some concept cars of it in like Jeep Wranglers, along with Dodge having fun and poking at the idea of putting a Hellcat engine into a Grand Caravan, which I believe Travaris joked about actually building. Maybe joked about it, we'll see what the future holds. I actually recall the Hellcat twins, the Charger and the Challenger, actually selling so well when they first came out, they actually had to get a lot of the Viper team, or the people who were building the Vipers, to come and build the Challengers, some the Chargers, purely because it was outselling the Viper by a lot. We know Dodge has their Charger Daytona EV coming out, which is going to have like a thousand horsepower, and it's going to be really fast. And as much as people hate it, I love the fact they've given it a engine note. So as we go into the future, performance is not dead, but it'll be sad to see this thing go. But I want to know, what do you think? Are you happy to see that the Hellcat engine is finally going and we can move on to something new? Or are you going to miss it like me? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you've seen. I post on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.